Hi, I'm Andy McNamara, Master Sommelier and Vice President of Wine Development for Breakthrough Beverage Florida. Really pleased to be here at the brand new One Door East in Fort Lauderdale for the next episode of Ask the Psalm. Really pleased to be joined today by J.W. Arnold for Mirror Magazine. J.W., welcome. Thank you. It's good to be here. Oh, my pleasure. So why don't you talk a little bit about what it is you do and then we'll get into some questions. Well, I write an entertainment column for a LGBT lifestyle magazine here in Fort Lauderdale and I like wine. Wonderful. I like wine too. It should be a good, it should be a good interview. That's great. I hope so. So I know you've got some questions for me. I do. Um, one of the things that I've always considered is starting a wine collection and I'm curious what makes some wines age better than others? You know, that's a really great question. And with everything in wine, there's always a, jig, a big giant asterisk. Uh, but really to me, what makes wines age really well are a couple different things. I'm gonna get a little geeky, so I apologize here, okay? First is, uh, expense has nothing to do with whether a wine's going to age really well or not. Whether it's white or red has nothing to do whether it's going to age well or not. What it really has to do with is the amount of stuff, for lack of a better word, in the wine. So there are different chemical compounds that exist in wine. You have things like tannins that you see in tea. You have sugar that obviously we know what sugar does. We like sugar, it's sweet, it tastes good. You have things like acids in wine as well, things that you would find in lemons and limes and that sort of thing. Uh, and they all exist in grapes and they make their way to the finished wine. You also have obviously the color of the wine and then you have a lot of other different compounds that exist in there. So what really makes wines age well is to have a good bit of all of that stuff for lack of a better word. And what that does is over a period of time, all of those compounds in the wine are going to change and they're going to alter and they're going to turn into new compounds. But so if you start out with more raw material, you're going to be left with more raw, raw material. But aging is a really difficult thing because Someone might consider a long-term aging somewhere in the neighborhood of five years. Someone else might consider it 25 years or 50 years. It really all depends on your perspective. But generally, the more stuff you have, the more, the longer it's going to age and the better it's going to get as it ages, which is the key question. If you send us a question, please send it to hashtag AskTheSong.